Thomas Pollockant Schutz was born 5th of October 1851, died 16th of June 1912, was an American painter and teacher, known for his portraiture and genre scenes, and Schutz was a co-founder of the Darby School, one of Thomas Aikens' most prominent students. He succeeded Aikens as director of drawing and painting classes at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. In 1878 Anschutz became Aikens' assistant, eventually succeeding Aikens as chief demonstrator when Aikens was promoted to professor of drawing and painting. In 1880, while still a student, Anschutz completed his first major work, The Iron Worker's Noontime. The Iron Worker's Noontime, Anschutz's most well-known painting, depicts 20 or so workers on their break in the yard of a foundry painted near Wheeling, West Virginia. It is conceived in a naturalistic style similar to that of Aikens, although Aikens never painted industrial subjects. The piece was exhibited at the Philadelphia Sketch Club in 1881 and compared to Aikens's work by art critics, art historian Randall C. Griffin has written of it. One of the first American paintings to depict the bleakness of factory life. The Iron Workers' Noontime appears to be a clear indictment of industrialization. Around 1880, Aikens became involved in photography, incorporating it into his classes and using it as a tool for his artwork. Anschutz and other students at the academy started to make use of the camera, posing models and making prints for study. Anschutz participated in Aikens' The Naked series, photographing nude models in seven predefined standing poses. He modeled for Aikens himself, along with colleagues such as J. Laurie Wallace and Covington Fusice, who would pose outdoors nude, often wrestling, swimming and boxing. Edward Mybridge eventually made his way to Philadelphia and Anschutz and Aikens helped build Mybridge's zoopraxiscope. 